Hi there, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about how my Solar Edge optimizer and my whole solar panel system went down, uh, what I did to kind of get it fixed, and how long it took, um, what things you should think about really uh, if you are going to have solar including some kind of workmanship kind of insurance so you're not paying out for extra scaffolding and things if some things do go wrong. So my optimizer on one of my panels uh, went wrong. I did get a kind of warning about it a little bit. Um, on one day uh, I basically got uh, my inverter is a four kilowatt inverter and I basically uh, max out that on a really sunny day so it kind of peaks um, and basically when I came home one day I looked at the system and it was about six seven in the evening when you don't expect it to still be on uh, full uh, midday kind of sun but it was kind of locked in as you can probably see here it was kind of locked in at the full uh, four kilowatts um, all the way into the evening so straight away I kind of knew something was not quite right so all I did then was I basically went and looked online for some videos uh, to find out how to reset the inverter because I hadn't reset it for three and a half years it just been running day in day out perfectly fine uh, I managed to reset it and it did come back online and I thought great maybe it's just a hiccup three and a half years things need a reboot now and again uh, it should be fine now and it was for about 10 days until one day when I just happened to figure out that we were using a lot of battery that day of course because the solar panels weren't working so we were just working off the battery for the whole day and the battery had really dropped down to 50% when it should really have still been about kind of 95% so then having a look on the solar edge system I found out that I was not generating any solar whatsoever uh, so then you start to think, well, uh, I need to get this fixed as soon as possible. We're in May, June, really peak months. Not such a problem if you're having this problem and things go wrong in the winter. But when you're mid-year, yeah, mid-summer, it's not what you want. So that was the second issue. And then the optimizer went down. Now I found out uh, through going through the Solar Edge uh, inverter by scanning it on the side of the box uh, with the app that you can actually get into the error log kind of file section in the app. And that brought up a couple of uh, issues and it also told me uh, which panel uh, was the problem. Uh, funnily enough, it was the first panel in the uh, array in the string 101. So that's on the side of my house, luckily in a way, because on the side of the house, there is access to the roof uh, for those four panels, whereas on the rear of the roof, you would definitely have to have had a scaffolding put up um, because there, we have overhangs and a conservatory and things like that. So there was just no way you were actually gonna get up there, even with big Velux windows on the roof as well. They just wouldn't have got out there to take the optimizer out from underneath and uh, repair it or swap it out in my case. So what was the first thing I did? Well, the first thing obviously I did was raise the problem with Solar Edge, go online, go onto the chat. They were pretty good. Uh, came back, looked at the system remotely and found out that one of my optimizers was bad. Uh, I'd already opened another call for the first issue just to see if that issue was going to actually reoccur. And I wanted to know the reason why it kind of got stuck uh, as it had uh, the first time. And I basically asked the first person who picked up that support call to also give me a second opinion about my optimizers. And he also vouched for his colleague who said that it was the first optimizer in the array and they would send out a replacement optimizer in the post. Uh, there were no uh, dates on when the delivery would actually happen. I expected it to be, you know, a few days, to be honest. Um, I don't know if they were moving systems at the time or something like that, but there was no tracking really given for that uh, product. I didn't know where it was coming from. I guessed it was probably coming from Europe, but I would have hoped they would have been stocked in the UK. So it was sent out quicker. Uh, in all, it took a week. Now, some people tell me afterwards that a week's not bad for products from Solar Edge, to be honest, but these people have probably been uh, waiting for larger products like full inverters um, to be replaced. 
I did kind of chase it up a couple of times, mainly because I've got Midsummer Wholesale, whatever, down the road in Cambridge, and they've got hundreds in stock. And I could have gone and bought one myself for £70 uh, and got it within like an hour. Um, so that was always in the back of my mind. But obviously this one was coming for free. So it did turn up and it turned up like this, to be honest. It wasn't great. Um, it was just not in a box. It was just bubble wrapped once in like one of those really soft plastic bags. Uh, and we all know what kind of couriers are like, don't we? Uh, throwing things around. So I was kind of hoping that it would have been kind of better prepared, to be honest, for its delivery um, from Europe to the UK. So I'd got the uh, replacement optimizer. I basically kept the installer up to date as well. I had Solar Edge put their email address onto the ticket as well, so that any time there was an update for delivery or tracking, of which there wasn't many or hardly any, um, that they would get notified when I'd actually got it as well, so they could hopefully plan when to come round. But my problem then was my installer was on holiday. Now they're quite a small installer, so when they basically one put, when the main guy goes on holiday, he makes everyone else go on holiday, so they couldn't just send someone else around. So the time was extended on that because of that. So that was another week to wait. Uh, and then on the third week, uh, the installer came around on the Friday uh, to get it swapped out. Now he told me Solar Edge only pay a hundred pounds to installers for replacing uh, items like optimizers. So he said that that wasn't enough money. So I was gonna have to pay for him to replace uh, the item. Well, fair enough, but luckily I'd got a f taken out a five-year workmanship warranty with him uh, when I had the system installed and it was about three and a half years old. So after I told him that, and not many people take this, normally you would get a standard default a workmanship warranty or insurance of about two years. Some other big installers will offer you like 10 years and it's definitely worth looking at as an insurance package. It wasn't expensive. It cost me about just over 150 pounds, I think, for five years. So I would take it out again once this expired, if that's possible, because scaffolding can be 500 to 1,000 uh, pounds to have installed as well, just to have something replaced on the roof. So they came round and they uh, changed it over. I didn't watch, because they only used a ladder. Um, basically, they slid up one panel and replaced the optimizer. Um, and they had to take off the uh, bird protection first as well, loosen that off and then slide the panels up and down to get to them and replace the optimizer. And that was done pretty quickly on a Friday afternoon, uh, but Solar Edge had actually locked the whole system. Uh, I believe they do that so that the rest of the system doesn't get impacted by one part going down, uh, which seems a bit strange to me because I would have thought that having these optimizers meant that if one panel goes down, all the other panels are going to carry on still working, um, which would have been nice. So once they locked down the system, that meant that the installer, when he came around, had to phone up Solar Edge to get it unlocked. So he had to make a call to them as well. Uh, it then started working pretty quickly. Um, and you can probably see on a graph in a minute when I show you the months that I had a little bit of production that day. And I was happy, uh, it changed, it started working again. Uh, and then he left site and then it stopped working again, which then really worried me. Uh, but he did tell me that it would take like 24 hours to actually sort itself out. Um, so it wasn't working for the rest of the afternoon and evening. And it took until the next morning at about 10 a.m. to actually kind of come online again, which I was a lot happy about, because otherwise it looked very strange, just like this with panels kind of some on a little bit and some not on. It was very strange, but then the next morning it did all come back on again. So we were three weeks getting this back online. Obviously that kind of impacted my stats for May and June as well, and it will do forevermore. Uh, but again, the cost for me could have been a lot higher had I need to have had scaffolding and things like that. So it sort of begs the question that ground solar panels on the, on the, in your back garden on the floor would be a lot easier to look after. Obviously you've still got the inverters and everything on the ground in your garages or wherever outside that can easily be swapped out. But these um, having these panels on the roof could be a, an issue, it could be an issue anytime where it could cost you a lot of money to sort a problem out. Obviously if I hadn't had solar edge optimizers then this might not have been a problem uh, because they're an added piece of 
uh, functionality that could possibly go wrong on each one because there's one on each panel and I've got 14 panels. So I spoke to my installer about Solar Edge products in general, saying had the company got worse uh, or anything like that. He said no, one week was good for kind of delivery of an item. Uh, he has done so far about 4,000 installs at the time of making this video. And he actually told me that he only has about two uh, issues a month where he has to go back to a site. Although most of his products that he installs are Give Energy products. Uh, and it was really just special for me because I wanted a solar edge inverter with optimizers. Normally what happens when um, a solar edge piece of kit is swapped out is that the installer has so many weeks to return the uh, defunct or useless product back to them. Uh, so that sort of helps you a little bit thinking that your installer is going to come back within a certain amount of time to replace or fix your issue. But this time he did not want to, well, he, it didn't seem like he was going to actually try and claim that £100 uh, because he didn't take the optimizer with him. So here is the offending uh, optimizer uh, with the cable. So this is the one that doesn't work. Uh, I know he's left it with me. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Probably just take it to the recycling center uh, with the QR code on the back that you have to kind of zap in uh, to get working before you install it. But yeah, so he didn't take that uh, with him. So he's left that with me. But everything is working now. It's been fine uh, ever since for two months now, uh, which is good to know. And I hope there isn't going to be any more issues. But there probably will be. Um, so what have I really learned from this? Well, there's no quick fix when it comes to something going wrong on your roof. You're not going to get something back up and running within about two or three days uh, because you're going to have to order that replacement part, open a support ticket, uh, do some investigation yourself uh, and also then get your installer to hopefully come around and organize um, maybe scaffolders to come around and actually put the scaffolding up and then replace the part if they can fit it into their busy calendar which obviously is busier in the summer if something goes wrong than it would be where they're probably not installing as many products in the winter. Is this a problem with smaller firms than larger firms? Would Octopus come out if they'd installed my solar any quicker or a bigger firm? Maybe, um, but I couldn't really answer that one for you because I don't really know. But coming on to warranties, is it really important to have extended warranties? I think so. I've ex I, when I first had my Give Energy battery installed and inverter, AC inverter, I extended those up to the maximum of 10 years on both of those, or the battery was already 10 years, I believe. At the time, the inverter was five. I've added that, extended that to 10. I've also extended the solar edge um, inverter up to 25 years. Um, obviously the panels were 25 years as well. So I think that was important, but obviously they could be swapped out, but it does also mean that you're still gonna have to probably pay someone for the scaffolding to come around and fix them. So have a look at workmanship uh, insurance or warranty if you're having a new install, or even if you've got a current one, because I think it could pay for itself. Right, that's the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you've got any comments or any questions about Solar Edge products or swapping them out and the warranties and anything else, I kind of the process I went through, then please ask those questions in the comments and I'll try and answer them for you. As I know, it can be um, a tricky situation if your so solar kind of setup goes wrong. Uh, you feel like it's actually the end of the world especially if you're kind of relying on it, going back to kind of peak rate electric. But luckily, because I've got a separate Give Energy battery, um, an inverter, we could live off the battery and I could charge that still overnight um, on Octopus Intelligent while I'm charging the car. So that kind of did kind of help. Had it been a hybrid inverter, um, it might have been a different story. But thanks again. See you soon.